Hello, uh, we want to welcome you. Uh, uh, we want to show you uh, now our evaporation system, Vapogand. Hey Patrick, uh, where we are here now? Here we are in the heart of our um, vapor uh, evaporator. Here you see the evaporator um, system where the, the digestate is filled in and then these plates, these heat exchanger plates, okay. heat up the, with the power of the, the external heat and vaporize the water and the ammonium. Uh, here we see the heat exchanger plates. Uh, is there a need uh, to clean them by time to time or is there no need? Yes, of course, because everybody knows uh, if you put milk on a heating plate, it will stuck there and uh, okay. never get up. Yeah. So. Uh, you, uh, we have invented this system. Um, this is uh, a brushing system for the heating plates. Yeah. These brushes are uh, stuck by these uh, springs okay. and put it on the, on the um, surface. And then a hydraulic system from outside the vaporizer um, um, will move it 120 degrees. Ah, because of these three because arms, of these three arms. Degrees, and so okay. the whole plates are cleaned okay. and every time you have a perfect heat transfer. From the substrate to the heat exchanger plates. Yeah. Okay, perfect, perfect. Um, can you tell me how is the filling level uh, in, in this vessel? Uh, where is the substrate standing? Yeah. You, you have to imagine here is a top on this vessel. So okay. uh, the um, level side of the substrate is nearly here. Always, Always there. There's the, the yeah. heating plates. Yeah. Ah, okay. Because you have some foam on the uh, top side okay. of the uh, substrate and you have to put uh, all the, all the uh, surface of the the heat transfer plates um, in the substrate. So how, it, how is it looks like with the, with the maintenance, with service? Uh, how often do, do you think uh, uh, is a, you have, we have to do service? It's a very stable and proven system. So, but we recommend to open the vessel up once a year. Okay. And then you, we inspect all the parts which can be broken maybe or something okay. like this. And um, maybe two or three years we have to put the whole system out mm -hmm. and clean it clearly up and okay. um, remove broken parts or mm -hmm. switch parts of the system. Maybe to switch the, the brushes, the, the brushes yeah. or the springs. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay, perfect. Right. Yeah. Now we have been inside the evaporator and have uh, seen all the technical parts and uh, could you explain me how, how it works? Yeah, of course. I have a short animation for you. Okay. There Perfect. I can show you. Perfect. So we have here the animation of the um, evaporator. You see at the right side on the evaporator one, there is the external heat come in and have uh, 86 degrees Celsius nearly around about. And how can we evaporate something in this temperature grade? We can do it because we have a vacuum in the vessels and there the, the um, evaporation point is uh, lowered. And so we uh, make steam with nearly about around about 60 degrees. This steam is used for the heat of the evaporator too. So we can use the heat of the external heat two times. We use it in the evaporator one to make steam and in the evaporator two we use it to make again steam with a lower temperature grade on maybe 48 degrees Celsius. The steam is cleaned at the vapor scrubbers and in the vapor scrubbers, scrubbers is added sulfuric acid. And this sulfuric, sulfuric acid makes ammonia sulfate solution, uh, short ASS. It's a perfect fertilizer, uh, mineral fertilizer. The steam is condensated by a wet cooling tower and the condensate uh, you can use uh, in different ways. Uh, perfect to know. Uh, is there the possibility to have a look inside this scrubber? Yeah, of course. Let's go to our demonstrator. Okay, perfect. Okay, so here is our demonstrator of our vapor scrubbers. Okay. You see here in this glass how the ammonium sulfate is falling so down. Sorry, could you switch it off? It's too loud. Wait a second. Ah, uh, much better now. So, now here you, uh, the, the sulfuric acid is sucked in by the vacuum 
Ah, okay. Yeah. And then it's going around this circle and is put it on about the nozzle at um, plastic um, particles. Okay. And then it sl slowly drops down and the steam is coming in the other direction. And so the, 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 the cleaning fluid is coming against the steam okay. and the ammonia is put it out okay. and made to ammonia ASS. Okay. And why uh, do you have uh, these pieces of plastic inside? It's to slow down the falling uh, oh. velocity ah, okay. and to, to raise the, uh, the contact. Okay, the, to extend the, the, the surface. Yeah, ah, and, okay. and the cleaning, the cleaning um, power. Okay, perfect. Okay, very interesting. Uh, could you tell me what we are doing with this uh, steamed water? Yeah, of course, follow me. Okay. Ah, okay. So this is our um, condensate treatment model. Oh, very interesting. Could you tell me how it works? Yeah, of course. Uh, inside of this um, um, is an activated carbon. Okay. And the activated carbon cleans the condensate coming from the vapor scrubbers and the condensator. Okay. And um, put out, out all this little bit of ammonia and CSB, what's maybe inside there. Okay, that means that we have afterwards uh, total clear water. Yeah. Clear water, you can use it for uh, wash your machines or um, clean the, the stable, what you want. So could you tell me uh, something about the products we are getting out of the Vapogun? Yeah. Here you see the main part is the water, the destillate. It's oh, okay. uh, the, from the uh, condensate treatment model. 60%. Yeah. 60%. And the other parts are the ASS. The, the mineralic fertilizer, yeah. okay. And the concentrate. Ah, that means that uh, only 73% uh, of the 100% are is coming to the end storage. Yeah, and so you save space, storage oh, okay. space. Okay. You okay. can reduce the storage space or you can uh, raise your input. Okay, and I think also to, to uh, lower the driving costs. Yeah, of course, you have lower driving costs. costs. Yeah, of course. Oh, okay. And uh, the other thing is the efficiency. What's up with the efficiency of the Vapogant? It's very high. We put out 2.5 liters per kilowatt thermic. Ah, okay. And we reduce the ammonia up to 90%. Okay, sounds good. Sounds very good. So if you have questions, uh, give us a call. Or uh, the better idea is uh, we send you a small questionnaire. Uh, if you have fulfilled this, uh, send it back to us and we make a calculation of efficiency for you.